Mr. President? What are you doing staying out so late at night? You young people ought to get to bed. I agree with you 100%, but I don't have any control over it. You know, they just push me around like I was a tin pin. I thought you were the boss of all your domain. <laughs> well, I, I try to be, but you know it doesn't work very well. Well, I'm, I'm pretty strong for you. I know you are. You couldn't be any stronger and make me any happier. I'm a Truman man. I appreciate it. I called you up because I wanted very much if you feel like it and if you think you can and if it uh, if it doesn't tire you out. I wanted very much for you to come to the inauguration and hope that you and Ms. Truman and Mar uh, Margaret and... Do you want me to tell you something? Margaret and her children and uh, anybody else that you want to bring, you, any of your kin folks, and just take over the Blair House, and I'll put everybody in the government at your disposal. And I'll be there. And well, you just. Uh, you don't have to do that to get me there because I was coming anyhow. And I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> well, I I know uh, I don't want to impose on you, but uh, you got so many friends and so many people. Have you consider that you are imposing on me? You talk to me, and you find out you're not. Well, we all everybody loves you. And you tell Miss Truman that Lady Bird and I called last night, and we want to talk to both of you, but uh, we're in Kansas City, out in Kansas City to make it a speech. We missed you, so uh, uh, you uh, you got a big house. You know more about it than anybody because you lived in it, and, right. and uh, I'm going to turn it over to you and uh, Ms. Truman, and you all invite anybody you want to, ask Margaret and the kids, any of them that can come, and right, you just have anybody, and we'll have whatever cars and whatever servants and whatever else you need to make you comfortable and happy, and you come to what you want to, you'll have, you'll have, we'll have everything for you, and what you don't want to, you just tell them to go to hell and go on and go to bed. Listen here, Mr. President, if you keep this up, they're going to spoil me entirely. Well, I want to. You're entitled to be spoiled. <laughs> you, you've done enough, you've done enough to your country that you're entitled to be spoiled. I'll be there. Tell Miss Truman we're looking forward to seeing you. I'll tell her. Right now I'll sit down and talk to you about some things I need to talk to you about when you get here. And you just let us know, and the plane will pick you up. I can be of service. You know you can call on me. You just let us know, and the plane will pick you up anytime you want to. All right, I'll do that. Okay. Bye.